The people of Iran took to the streets to protest the government, the mullah's regime. What's your feeling about what's been going on there and how the European politicians have been responding to it? I think that what's happening in Iran right now is very important and very different from what did happen in uh, 2009. Uh, in 2009, it was protest about uh, an election, a stolen election. This time, it's the beginning of a real revolution. It's coming from the fact that the people of Iran see that the money uh, that was given to Iran after the agreement of uh, 2015 uh, has been stolen and uh, given to terrorist organization and uh, people are angry. Uh, they want the replacement of uh, the Mullah's regime by something else. And uh, so it's a democratic revolution that is starting in Iran and the repression has been very strong but the regime is in a very bad shape and uh, I think that it's a shame to see that uh, the European leaders support the regime because that's what they do and uh, don't respect the will of the people of Iran and don't respect human rights. Uh, they speak all the time about human rights and uh, they uh, are ready to abandon completely human rights as long as they can uh, grab some money from uh, the regime. And according to me, it's really a shame. And it's a shame to see that uh, European media say that the people protest just to have a little more food and that it's mostly about food. It's much more important than that. And uh, I think that it's important to say it and to say uh, that uh, the United States and the, the Trump administration are on the side of human rights and on the side of the people of Iran and understand the dangers uh, constituted by this ugly regime and that the Europeans behave like uh, uh, Chamberlain and Daladier behaved in Munich. Uh, in um, 1938. It's really a shame and uh, I'm very angry and I support the people of Iran, uh, the good people of Iran.